Shalom, shalom, shalom Institute and Kem Gesher families. My name is Lina Geller and I'm the director of Kem Gesher. And today I'm very excited to share with you one of my favorite recipe of my one of my favorite holidays, Passover. Um, I will make with you today the matzo brai. The matzo brai, it's very, very common uh, dish for breakfast from Ashkenazi Jewish uh, people. I've been eating it for breakfast during the Passover almost all my, not almost all my life. And right now I'm preparing it for my family and my family love it. And I hope you're going to love it. Um, and it's very, very simple dish to make. So all we will need, we will need some matzo. I usually, when I make a matzo bread, I use one piece of matzo and I like egg matzo, my personal, uh, for one egg. So what I do, just break the matzo. It doesn't have to be even. It doesn't matter what kind of pieces it is. We'll just break the matzo into the pieces. And when I'll be done breaking it, I will show you how does it look like. I love matzo personally, and special, like I already said, that egg matzo um i can eat it all day long but i'm trying not to <laughs> here's how my matzo pieces look like some of them bigger some of them smaller it's really really doesn't matter and here on the other uh bowl i have two eggs two regular organic eggs um and to the eggs first we're gonna put hot water onto the matzo and let it stay for like three five minutes no more so just i just uh boil the water and i pour it into the matzo and like i said two three minutes and here my eggs two eggs and I make it super simple. I added uh, some salt in it, like a dash of salt, some black pepper, a little bit. If you like it spicier, you can use any spices you want. And since we are, uh, like we call it RSJ, Russian speaking Jewish families, really like dill. I like to add a little bit of uh, dry dill into my matzo bread. Honestly, I add dill everywhere. <laughs> I just love dill. I prefer to use the fresh one, but for matzo bread, dry is all good. Here's the, my ingredients. And uh, while matzo getting ready, I'll whisk my eggs and then we'll see what we're gonna do with this. After my matzo, uh, suck in the hot water for about three, four minutes. I drained it and I'm putting it back to the same bowl. And I also start preheating my skillet. Since we can't use any kind of oil for the Passover. Uh, I usually use avocado oil uh, to make my matzo bread. I'm gonna spray my skillet with the avocado oil. You can pour your avocado, you can even use the butter, and we all know butter makes everything better. So, and first, I throw my drained uh, salt, it's kind of like, I'm touching it with my hands, but I just washed it. <laughs> so the matzo look very, very like, and feels very, very soft. So I throw it on a skillet. And start frying it by itself first. I'm doing it for a couple of minutes and while the matzo 
get toasted here uh, on my skillet, I usually whisk my eggs a little bit more. And here we can see the matzah getting its perfect golden color. And that's time for the eggs. I just pour it all over. So it's kind of like a few different ways to make a matzah bread. First, um, we can make it like as one piece uh, and flip it over as one piece. But in my family, we always been breaking it. My grandma was doing it this way. My mom was doing it this way. So that's how I'm doing. I'm just breaking it to the little pieces because the brai, matzo brai, brai that's mean the little pieces. So that's how we break it into the little tiny pieces then how it looks in my family and here we can see it's almost done it's like i already said it's super easy to make and it's very popular breakfast uh, during the Passover and it's delicious now all we have to do is put it on a plate with some maybe vegetables All done. Here's the matzo bread for you guys. And my dearest friends, here's my matzo bread ready to serve. Easy, delicious, quick dish for the for you for Passover. And I also want to say, it's the most important thing I wanted to say today. I want to wish you Haksa Mech, my friends. I want to wish you a happy Passover. I want to wish you a freedom from all the viruses and bad things and bad thoughts. I want to wish you a very good and happy and healthy year. And I'll see you next time. Yours, Lina Geller.